there's going to be a little get together this week. Thank God. This week, Chris is heading to the doctor's appointment that he missed last week. But first, he and Grizz head out for their usual morning walk and training session. Then they share some bacon and eggs on the Blackstone griddle. Time for the eggs. Now that's a person that's ready to play. This kind of seems a little oddly familiar. I'll explain in a minute. You see, last week, I think it was last week, yeah, last week, I hopped in the truck to take off because we were at another park. And we had to extend for a day to go to my osteopenia nurse practitioner to get an evaluation. And I put the wrong address into the GPS and didn't pay attention to what my wife had told me. So I ended up 22 miles away from the office I was supposed to be at. We're going to try it again. Except this time the office I'm going to is the same one I went to, but now it's the correct address. So now I'm leaving the park. Turn right on East Guadalupe Road. And heading to the address I went to last time, which is now the correct address. Let's see how it all works out. I think I have some apologies to make when I get there. And definitely an apology to my wife. Talk to you later. Enjoy the scenery. practitioner said anywhere between that and 0 0.01 or 0000 is considered undetectable. <laughs> Thank God. With any luck, I'll be able to just take the pills from here on now. Okay, getting on the freeway. Heading back to the RV. Mama and Grizz with a smile on my face. Just beautiful out here. Continue on map. <laughs> I'll continue on the map. We are cautiously optimistic about Chris's cancer, but are elated that his numbers are so good. We are still, unfortunately, not able to travel while his physicians make sure that the treatments are doing what they need to do. Hopefully, this will all work itself out so we can get back on the road again. Later on, Chris's a little get-together with some retired firefighters from his old department. 
I think they're going to the monastery here in Mesa. So stick around to see how it all turns out. This is a lovely spot and wonderful RV park. We enjoy being here. Greer sure likes it. Now I'm sure I've showed you this before, but this is our outdoor kitchen. This is our Pit Boss Pellet Grill. I think it's amazing for meats. I love the smoker. And this, of course, is our griddle. And it's a wonderful Blackstone griddle. It's the 22-inch two-burner. Uh, these things are fantastic. Helps to keep the inside of the uh, RV not smelling bad. And it's easy to clean up, easy to take care of. It's just a wonderful way to do your food and have a great meal. And not only that, but we even got our outdoor fireplace. Not too shabby. Mmm, bacon and eggs. Time for the eggs. Nice to have a griddle. Grizzly's out helping me. There's going to be a little get together this week with some of uh, the retired firefighters from the department that I used to work for. i am kind of got mixed feelings about it. Um, I wasn't sad when I left. I wasn't happy when I left. I mean, it was a, a calling, a job that I enjoyed more than anything in the world. The meetup is going to be at the monastery. <laughs> Can you imagine a monastery hosting a bunch of retired firefighters? <laughs> Why does it smell like wet dog in here? Now that's a person that's ready to play. Thank you again for spending your Sundays with us here on OLT. And as always, please travel safe. <laughs> Wait pretty, Rick. <laughs> You're such a sweet guy. <laughs> You say that to all the boys.
you'll be a YouTube star. Yeah. <laughs>